So Keynote 859 is a global study of the uh, metastatic and advanced gastric cancer where the patients, uh, regardless of their PDL1 status, were treated with uh, pembrolizumab or placebo combined with uh, standard chemotherapy. Uh, this study enrolled uh, nearly 1,500 uh, of the HER2 negative gastric cancer patients uh, in a true global manner. One third of the patients were coming from Asia, a quarter of the patients were from the uh, Western Europe and North America, and 40% of the patients were coming from the uh, rest of the world. Uh, in this study, the primary outcome was overall survival, uh, which fortunately uh, was met in all subgroups, including uh, intention to treat population, which uh, co uh, consisted of the patients regardless the PDL1 status, which is very positive. Uh, and uh, it was also positive in the patients with PDL1 CPS score over one, uh, which uh, contributed to 78% roughly of the study population. Uh, completely not expected, it was also positive in the previously uh, well-known population of CPS over uh, 10. Uh, so, uh, summarizing this uh, study, this is a, a, a positive uh, study in terms of the primary outcomes. Uh, what we uh, learned today is that among the other, uh, other outcomes, uh, we reported the uh, so-called PFS2. PFS2 is a, a, a time to progression uh, on the subsequent treatments, uh, which was the time to the progression or death due to any reason. And here we have shown that uh, the outcomes for PFS2 uh, are consistent with PFS. What means that uh, the, there is no negative selection of the outcomes in the patients who are pre-exposed to immunotherapy, which is very positive, which uh, probably will translate that in further follow-up, the overall survival will not be negative for, uh, in, the, in the further observation. We also reported the subsequent therapies uh, in this huge cohort of uh, nearly 1,500 patients, uh, uh, which shows the real-world evidence how we are treating the gastric cancer currently. Uh, so 40% of the patients is receiving uh, chemotherapy, second-line chemotherapy in this population. And uh, uh, in both arms, meaning the previously treated with IO and to, without IO exposure, uh, less than 9% uh, uh, receives the immunocompetent uh, drugs. So this is the uh, setting. Uh, and uh, we have shown that it's balanced, uh, meaning that, uh, that there was no preselection bias. So summarizing, this is an important global study which uh, confirms that there is a role of immuno-oncology agents in the uh, treatment of advanced gastric cancer. Uh, during the oral session, the Florian Rolding, the, the, uh, which was, who was commenting it uh, after, just after the, the release, uh, has noticed many strong po points of that study. Uh, uh, although uh, this, uh, th there was also a, a comment that in the uh, patient populations with the biomarker of CPS between one and nine, the results may, may not be so uh, so um, uh, strong to uh, to suggest that all the patients in this uh, group should be treated like this. Uh, this is important to notice that uh, this subgroup of CPS between one and nine is about 40% of our HER2 negative population, which, which is very important part of the, of the population. In this study, it was not designed to uh, report these outcomes, so this is rather exploratory analysis. Uh, uh, so I would not stress that uh, it should be assessed uh, with very, very strong outcomes that, uh, that this population should uh, be uh, treated carefully with, uh, with IO. There is one very important point, which is the, uh, the technical aspect of assessing CPS. Uh, we are all aware that this is not a perfect marker, uh, that sometimes the assessment if the patient is CPS 1 or 5 or 9 uh, is tricky. Uh, and uh, having a strict uh, comment that patient with CPS between 1 and 9 should not be treated uh, with, the, with the IO or should be treated carefully uh, is, in my opinion, not supported. We have shown that 
also intention to treat population uh, gives the uh, uh, gives the uh, positive outcomes which means that all comers which means that you don't need to pre-select the patient so it's very democratic way of, of treatment